Welcome everyone to Weekly News and it is WB Major Tedbis and the topic for this video is Bishop Ambo Cardinal Na Our very own Kangkalu Bishop Bishop Pablo Ambo Virgilio David ay ginawa ng Cardinal ni Pope Francis matapos ang surely ilang buwang vetting process with a papal nuncio to the Philippines E adesso sono lieto di annunciare che il Lotto decembre prossimo, on 8 December, I'll have a consistory for the nomination of new cardinals. La loro provenienza esprime la università della Chiesa. And if these cardinals are from the Universal Church, a tutti gli uomini della terra. L'inserimento dei nuovi cardinali. And the Pope announcing a surprise. Ma inoltre consistory for new cardinals here are the new cardinals and the Philippines si cardinal elect Ambo ay ang ikasampung Filipino Cardinal na inihalal ng mga Santo Papa sa Vatican City and now only one of three active Filipino Cardinals. The other two being Reverend Antonio Cardinal Tagle and Reverend Jose Cardinal Advincula. To a total of four living Cardinals including retired Cardinals Gaudencio Rosales and Orlando Quevedo. Si Reverend Pablo, si Reverend Pablo Virgilio Cardinal David is currently in his second term as the president of the Catholic Bishop Conference of the Philippines with one of their major things done that I've heard of is regarding the participation as a board member yata I think ng uh, red tagging son of a guns na national task force to end local communist armed conflict or NTF Alka at ang kanilang withdrawal from that agency ng gobyerno after a few months after a backlash na nangyari from the public at disastrous PR na it incurred dahil sa kanilang pakikipagtulungan with the unpopular agency that is the NTFLK. What the frick is wrong with my hair? We said. It is said that the Catholic Church hears at people and that majority of Filipino populace are against the Church having any ties with the NTFLK that trampled on human rights, freedom of expression, association, and assembly. That there are fears that the Catholic Church may be used once again to trample on the aforementioned rights. Now, what does being a cardinal even mean, right? I mean, it might lead you to believe that cardinals are the bosses of the archbishops. Kasi ganito yun, di ba? Or parish priest, and then bishop, then archbishop. Tapos iisipin natin, cardinal, and then the pope. Well, that's not exactly what happens. We think of it that way because it's kind of the same way as the archbishops being the bosses of the bishops, and bishops being the bosses of parish priests. But not really. The only difference between archbishops and cardinals is that they have cooler clothes and that it is color red. Oh, also that they get to vote when picking who the next pope would be. And and with that, a lot of people and Vatican insiders whispering another resignation of a pope. It leads one to assume that the front runner or our very own, His Eminence Cardinal Tagle, could succeed the Pope from Argentina. We could be seeing the rise of the world's first Asian Pope in the form of Cardinal Tagle. Because again and again, we're like one of two majority Catholic country in the Asian continent, the other being Timor Leste. And you know, we have this outsized power that we could enforce upon the Catholic Church because again, so it is only kind of necessary that we have the representation sa ating mga cardinal to, you know, be present or our presence be a an ever omniscient, omnipresent thing. Then uh, again, we have like 80 million or 80 to 90 million na katoliko sa Pilipinas. So it is a surprise for sure, but a welcome one. So we're entering into the second session of the Synod, and uh, this is our way of uh, helping out in the um, invitation of Pope Francis to propel the church in mission, um, to stop being too self-referential, you know, and being concerned only about churchy issues, especially for us who are coming from the Southern Hemisphere or the so-called Global South, you know. 
uh, for example, in, in Asia, even if the Philippines is majority Catholic, majority Christian, you know that in the rest of Asia, Christianity is a tiny, tiny minority. And so, um, you know, we bring our voices also into the Synod to make sure that uh, we remain open to intercultural, interreligious dialogue, you know. And, um, yeah, through synodality, because we are now focused on making an impact in society and the rest of the world, um, I think uh, we're finding spaces to be able to collaborate, to, to be able to walk with people of other faiths, other religions, you know, other denominations in, within Christianity, uh, to be able to work together for social justice, for the poorest of the poor, for human rights, for um, the integrity of uh, creation, you know. These are concerns that are, you know, foremost among uh, the Asian people. Uh, and of course, peace building, uh, conf uh, you know, addressing conflict and working for reconciliation in society. And as the bishop did not receive the news of his elevation, the story goes like this. After a heavy synod schedule, natutulog siya. Moments waking up, someone was calling him at dahil nakita niyang international call at ang gamit niya ay Philippine SIM card. Well, minabuti niyang hindi sagutin na lang dahil mahal daw yung overseas call. Which could have been a big blunder kasi baka mamaya, that could be the Vatican kind of trying to contact him from the fact na, you know, that gawin siyang cardinal ng Pope. That he was a cardinal until someone congratulated him. And even then, he hypothesized that the call could have been from the Vatican trying to reach him to inform him of his elevation in hindsight. Pero nang nakita niya sa WhatsApp ang congratulatory message ng isang reverend from the Philippines, nashock siya at tinanong kung, Nagjo-joke ka ba? Bakit ako gagawing cardinal? He was only satisfied when he was sent the video of the papal announcement of the 21 new cardinals. So that's kind of a good, kind of a funny uh, story. I mean, nakikita na yung pagkatipid ni Bishop Ambo na ayaw niyang sagutin yung international call na yun kasi gamit niya Philippine SIM card. I mean, sayang yung data roaming. Sayang yung ano charges na makukuha niya. So he just did not uh, answer the phone. So, you know, that's kind of funny. Na he forwent or forwent or forgo. Basta, he passed up the opportunity to be informed of his elevation, even though he wouldn't really know about until hours later, where he will be the next latest cardinal in our country. It is Filipino pride all over again. We Philippines, so Philippines. Woo! Philippines pare! Na kung may cardinal na naman tayo, ilan na ba cardinal natin? As I said, like 10. Pero, I didn't really research much to this video. I just uh, went to Cardinal Pablo Virgilio David's uh, Facebook post to get some of the things that could be uh, relevant to the news. So, there's that. Ang video clip na ito ay galing sa aking series na News Time Worthy Recap. Check the entire video for the complete weekly news recap and subscribe to the channel to be kept up to date sa mga local at global news na I'll make sure would be interesting to you particularly. Hindi uh, ko alam yung name mo pero you should subscribe. You... Muhammad? Smith? I don't fucking know. John Smith? Salamat sa panunod mga kabayang Avoir me, like, subscribe, follow my links in socials and avoir Chose that would be linked down below Sa susunod muli, of course Paalam